Hey guys, sunflower update for you. Looks like uh, we got some pretty decent growth. Started watering them from the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the lid on upside down now so they'll still like grow higher looking for light and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out and do some Uber. However, I kind of thought that maybe I should just stay home. It is snowing and there's like snow on the ground. It's like, eh, this isn't nice. But I figured I'd go see what the main streets are like and uh, maybe it's not actually that bad. Maybe it's just a little bit of flurries going on. And uh, yeah, along College Street, it wasn't that bad. A little bit wet, you know, not the greatest or anything, but I figured I am already out here. Might as well do a little bit. Maybe it'll be good and like busy since it's snowing. So, starting off, picking up some toast or something. I don't know. <laughs> Breakfast food. Then some burritos. And by now the snow has pretty much stopped. Still a little bit windy and cold, but that's all right. So yeah, after those deliveries in Liberty Village, I uh, rode east a bit kind of hoping I could just stay in Liberty Village area, but I wasn't getting any requests there. So yeah, rode along King Street for a bit. Yeah, streetcar, popular. And uh, then I chilled out around Spadina for a bit until I got a juicy dumpling request. And as I was delivering these, I saw a bunch of police cars. I have Queen Street closed off. Kind of wondering what's up with that, but whatever. So yeah, do my delivery over to number one York. And I picked up some more shattered Abbas, as well as a second one from this uh, Bindia Bistro. Looks like Jarvis is closed for some construction stuff going on with the new St. Lawrence Market. I just walked up Jarvis and uh, yeah, saw this Mango Hotels construction. Big fans of Mango over here. And uh, yeah, did my last delivery for the day to a nurse and I saw more police cars on Queen Street again. This time at Queen and Young, but all these people are hanging out so I figured it's for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. I was like, oh, okay. Pretty sure St. Patrick's Day already happened, but like, you can do a parade whenever, I guess. On a Sunday makes sense. And, yeah. Or who knows, maybe St. Patrick's Day is today. I didn't really look it up. But anyways, I figured I could watch a parade. So, I kind of just stood around and watched the parade. Classic marching band where only the drummers are playing right here. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of people walking around. Not too many floats, but sometimes there is. Like Silver Elvis. Woo! That's fun. Some goat train. I guess just go. Not just trains, they, you know, they do have buses. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what these guys are, like Celtic reenactor types, maybe? That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. This uh, spear guy, he mean mugged me. That's fun. <laughs> You know, thinking about it, I don't know what a Shriner is. Seems like a guy with a hat that's always in the parades. But outside of that, do Shriners do things? Hmm. Oh yeah, the guy in the front here, he fell down up the street before I was filming. They were doing a bunch of dances and then 
they, they stopped dancing after he fell. So, yeah, no cool dances for the video. Not sure what some of these floats are about. Like, alright, we got a mermaid and a monk, a unicorn, and like a ripped uh, unicorn centaur guy. Actually, that's his ear. I thought it was a horn. And uh, yeah, I thought that was it for the parade. But there's actually just a big old gap. So, I walked forward for a bit until I saw more stuff. Another marching band? Where only the drums are doing anything? Even the drummers weren't doing that much stuff. Yeah, Dublin Boys in Blue. Which I think is a soccer thing, not a police thing. But also, it might a little bit be a police thing. I wasn't sure. And, uh... Oh yeah, sorry, football thing. Sorry, everyone. Whew! And, uh, yeah. More bands. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, Irish dance clubs. Or dance schools by the way. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Look at these guys going. Neat bus. He's just like a Christmas float, I guess, that they put a St. Patrick's Day sign on. Oh, uh, yeah, and some, uh, Chinese New Year, Dancing Dragon puppet thing. Again, up the street they were like going crazy and like doing S serpentine motions. But I guess they were tired or something when they got by me and they just they're just holding it. But that's a cool puppet. Yeah. Yeah, the, these are the carpenters. The big family. The guy in a Snoopy suit. Not sure if this guy is a part of the parade, but maybe. Get some, uh, yeah, Mexican dancing stuff, Spanish, I don't know. I was like, yeah, that's cool. Again, I feel a little bit unlucky because up the street they were dancing and going crazy, and then the music changed and they all just started walking. And I was like, damn, you know? Missed out on the dancing. And uh, I guess the parade is over somewhere. Those, those uh, Celtic warrior guys are walking back. Ah, oh, yeah, here's some uh, actual dancing. But the parade stopped for like a second and they started up dancing, but then it started up like walking again, so they didn't dance that long. But, you know, that's enough. Enough for the video. And that was the first marching band where everyone was playing, so that's cool. And I think this might have been St. Patrick himself, holding a snake. Cool. I'm gonna assume that that's St. Patrick. I don't know who else that would be. I guess that's like the Santa Claus of uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Followed by a bunch of golf carts. The parade did stop there, and one of the golf cart guys was like, How much longer? I'm really cold. Like, I get that, dude. Oh yeah, this thing's crazy. Neat. And I guess this really is the end of the parade, because after that it was just some police cars. And everybody started going back into the street. And uh, following the parade is a bunch of uh, street cleaning vacuums. Which is good. Probably need this more for, you know, after the snow melts, there's always a bunch of trash in the streets, so that's nice. Didn't seem like many people were just littering from the parade. I was actually next to some garbage cans, and people, people use the garbage cans. If they're there, people use them. And, uh, yeah, well, I'm at Young and Dundas Square now. And they have these neat displays interactive. You can like spit them and they make some neat beeping sounds. 
That's pretty fun. But I'm actually kind of cold right now. I thought about going back online to do some more Uber, but... Eh, it's after 2 p.m., so I figure, you know, lunch is over. And I'm good to just go home. All that standing around has gotten, gotten to me, you know, the chilled. So, went home for a bit. Well, for the rest of the night. Made $41 in uh, 2 hours and 10 minutes. Brings us to $176 for this week. Which is fine, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Played some Valheim with the bros. A little bit of a plants update for you guys. Still growing. I'm gonna keep the light on now. Later.